Hey everybody, it's Jody, and guess what? I did it. I painted my Luna Peace and Love Soprano ukulele, and I just thought I'd share with you um, a couple of little things I learned along the way. So stay tuned. I am going to be giving this ukulele away in the very near future, so stay tuned to the end of the video to get some more info on that. Okay. This is not the first ukulele I've ever painted. It's actually the third ukulele I painted. Um, that's one thing I really like about inexpensive ukuleles. It kind of gives you the courage to take a paintbrush to it and paint it. So the very first one I painted, I no longer have. I gave it away on this channel. His name was Cinco. Um, and then this is the second ukulele I painted. And both of those were very inexpensive sopranos. Um, and then, and then now, here, I painted this one. This one was a very different beast than the other two. So I just thought I'd share with you some things that I've learned after painting three ukuleles. All right, so um, with the first two, I used um, very inexpensive like craft paint that you can get at um, like Michael's or Hobby Lobby or your favorite craft store. And they're, these bottles are, are about a dollar. A little bit more than a dollar a piece um, but they're very like watery and not opaque at all and so with my first two I painted the entire body white first or I think I used white gesso on one of them but I made it white first so that the colors would show up because I think if I were to use this paint directly on wood it, it would not show up very well so um, that's tip number one if you're using this kind of paint you may have to do a base coat of white. Um, and that's what I did here. Now, uh, I, I was fully expecting to have to paint all of this design white first and then go over the colored areas with my color. And so I started off doing that painting, um, painting white and I realized, oh, this is very opaque. And that is because I was using a different kind of paint. This is a much more expensive type of paint and it's a heavy body paint and it's very opaque. Um, and so once I started that, I realized, oh, I, I don't think I have to do two coats. So then I just went to the letters and painted those white and then I did the colors and I was able to do the colors um, in one or two coats. The pink was a little less opaque than the others. Um, I thought, if. I've already reviewed this ukulele, so you can check that review out online on my channel. But I, and you can see what it looked like before, but, and it was engraved. All of this design was engraved in the soundboard, and I thought that was going to make it really easy to paint because it would have like natural borders and it would help me stay in the lines. Um, and maybe that would have been the case had I used like a, a liquidy, watery paint, but I used a heavy body paint which was very difficult to get like detail and to get right on the edges because it kept get, like building up in my paintbrush and I had to keep cleaning the paintbrush and to try and get those edges nice and, and crisp. Um, so keep that in mind if you are gonna use a heavy body paint. You do, you get the benefit of maybe only having to do one coat but it's really hard to do um, fine detail with the heavy body paint. Um, my other advice is find something to stabilize your, the neck of your ukulele. So with my first two, I didn't have anything, but this time I used this handy dandy little thing, which actually came out of this, um, Kala Deluxe gig bag that I love so much. And this is part of it and it comes, it's got Velcro and it comes right out. <laughs> so I used that and it, it worked great. I'll show you. I have a picture of it in action. Um, but they also sell these kind of things um, on Amazon for when you're doing work on your ukulele or guitar. If you're changing the strings or cleaning the the fret board or things like that, they sell like a little cradle. Um, but yeah, that it made it a lot easier because with this one, I had to keep rotating it around to get to a better angle for the edges. Um, my other advice is try to have a plan going into it. Now I really didn't on my first two. Um, I just kind of winged it and I do like the way they turned out. This one, um, incidentally, that's black Sharpie is the black on there. Um, but with this one, I, 
I did. I I actually took a, a stock photo online and I pulled it into Photoshop and I experimented it with different colors until I found a combination that I liked. And then I used that as a reference when I was coloring it or painting it and that really helped me. Now, I did not design the headstock ahead of time and to be honest, I don't love it. <laughs> I just... Um, I just, I wanted to cover up that big Luna logo. I mentioned that in my review that I don't really like the huge Luna logo. And I wanted it to kind of, you know, pull in the same colors as on the body. Um, but I think maybe I could have designed something a little bit better. Um, but it's still okay. Let me know what you think of that little headstock. I still think it's better than the big Luna. Um, but yeah, so there we have it. Uh, that's pretty much all my tips. My other tip is just go for it. Just jump in and do it if you want to. Um, you can find like really inexpensive ukuleles like on eBay. Very inexpensive. And I even, like this one I don't really play, uh, but it's hanging on the wall right behind um, this camera. And it's just kind of decoration, but I like it. I like the way it looks and it makes me happy. Um, or you can, you know, spend $99 and get something a little bit higher quality and paint that if you want. It's fun. Um, but anyway, this one I am going to be giving away to one of you. I just have one more video to do. It came with Aquila strings and I replaced those. Now it has Martin M600. That was the overwhelming majority uh, request for this one. Um, and I'm going to do a sound comparison and then it will be time to give it away. So if you would like a bonus entry, I, uh, please leave a comment below and tell me, have you ever painted a ukulele? Would you ever paint a ukulele? Why or why not? Just start the conversation. Um, and if you leave a comment below on that topic, then, uh, and then you choose to enter my formal giveaway then the comment below will count as a bonus entry. So just commenting below doesn't mean you're automatically in the giveaway. Um, if you enter the official giveaway, which is coming up soon after I do the sound comparison, um, if you're officially entered, then I'm gonna go back and the people who are officially entered and commented below, that comment is going to be a bonus entry. I hope that makes sense. This is not the first time I've done this. I always reward commenters. so. So keep those comments alive. I really, really enjoy hearing from you. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoy the final product. Um, hope you have a great day. Play your uke today. Paint it today if you want. If you don't want to, then don't do it. You be you. And I'll see you real soon, guys. Bye-bye.